Less than a day after his father, Emperor Akihito, retired in a rare ceremony, his oldest son entered the same room in the imperial palace to formally take over. The transfer of ancient family treasures signaled the arrival of a new era, the reign of Emperor Naruhito. This was the first time in more than 200 years that Japan saw accession as a result of abdication. Then, just minutes later, Naruhito, this time with his wife, Empress Masako, by his side, spoke for the first time as emperor. In acceding to the throne, I swear that I will reflect deeply on the course followed by His Majesty, the Emperor Emeritus, and bear in mind the path trodden by past emperors, and will devote myself to self-improvement. His father, Akihito, sought to modernize the imperial family and bring it closer to the people. But Wednesday's first ceremony provided an indication of how far there is to go. No female members of the family, including Naruhito's wife and daughter, were allowed in the room. The people who reside in this palace are, of course, very important to Japan, but they have no political power. Since 1947, the emperor has been a symbolic figure only. Even changes to imperial law have to come from the government. Allowing abdication required a one-off law change, and only males from the male line of the family can become emperor. With only three males in line to the throne, the lineage is under threat. One of them is 83, another 12. So there is likely to be increasing pressure on Japan's conservative government to make changes to try to safeguard the line of succession. People who want to uh, maintain the imperial tradition in Japan, uh, they actually have no other choice than to modernize it further by accepting gender equality. That is the norm in the post-war period and that has also become a reality increasingly all over Japan. Japan's diversity was on display outside the palace. People of all ages and backgrounds came just to be close to history and maybe catch a glimpse of the new emperor. They'll get a better chance in October when a more elaborate enthronement ceremony is held and the imperial couple will travel around the capital city. But Japan is now in the age of Naruhito, the 126th emperor of Japan. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Tokyo.